Uh, th thank you. Well, uh, I have very high regard and very great emphasis on carbon capture and storage and carbon sequestration. That is truly the key uh, to using coal, vast reserves of coal, uh, to, in some cases, using natural gas to liquids. And uh, so this is not really new technology, and that's why I say it's required to have an investment at scale. Unfortunately, the United States canceled a plant, uh, Future Gen, which was to use coal, gasify the coal, and uh, prepare it for uh, recovering the carbon dioxide. Uh, I think wrongly cap uh, canceled it because the price had increased by a factor of 50 percent uh, above what had been contracted. Now on the price-demand uh, relationship, I don't dispute that a long-term uh, price does call <coughs> well, price to supply relationship is, is what we are here talking about, that a long-term increase in price does increase supply. And it increases supply of conventional oil, it increases supply of alternatives. But we have had the prospect of uh, coal to liquids, we've had the prospect uh, of, uh, of Arctic uh, drilling, and the technology has really moved quite slowly because people are not convinced that the price will stay high. Because on the supply curve, uh, there is so much flexibility in reducing, so much flexibility in reducing the price which is demanded so as to uh, make all of these alternatives uneconomical. And these folks who, who produce in the conventional oil range uh, would still make money on it. It's just that they make more money by not producing more at present. So it's the short-term spikes that should be alleviated. Professor Garwin, in one of the charts you showed us today, uh, the annual average growth rate for nuclear energy is projected to be over the next 20 or 30 years, 0 0.7 a year, uh, how, and which is the lowest among the different sources there. How do you square this with your idea or projection or hypothesis of having 9,000 uh, nuclear power plants by the year 2050? I would favor having 9,000. I think it's unrealistic. I think 1,500 is also unrealistic, but is uh, within the realm of possibility. Uh, one needs to replace the existing plants over the next uh, 20 or 30 years or so, and in addition, build the, uh, the new ones. And so that would require, if one starts you know, 2010 uh, to 2050, uh, about 40 to 50 nuclear power plants per year. Now, the president of Arriva just recently said that they would be happy to build eight plants a year, and they're about one-third of the manufacturing capacity of the, of the world. So we would need uh, to double or triple that. We would need to have a new industry to produce the forgings for the reactor vessels, which is not impossible. But <clears throat> the answer to your question is that this is a business-as-usual projection. And uh, making that many reactors is indeed possible. Uh, the world could afford it. Uh, whether it will happen depends on the competition. Whether it should happen depends on the competition. Coal to liquids is a lot more flexible than is nuclear power. Uh, we don't know really, and the nuclear power plants are coming at very high price because, especially in the United States, the Congress has uh, been so foolish as to provide loan guarantees <coughs> which is a license for the uh, manufacturers to charge as much as they like, rather than committing to buy the output of the nuclear plants at a fixed price uh, for 40 years. We have, uh, I think, uh, I think that um, we've been able to um, ask uh, a lot of questions. Are there any Further questions? Apparently not. And in this case, I would like to thank Professor Garwin for having uh, expounded such a 
vast uh, range of issues. I'll be wondering whether it will cost less to uh, treat to deal with the CO2 problem or to build uh, nuclear power stations. We'll have to um, decide sooner or later. But um, I'd like to thank the public, which um, uh, was. Uh, extremely interested and took a very active part in the discussion. And with this, I would like to bring the meeting to an end. And I would like to thank the uh, family of Felice Polito, uh, which is here.